That 86-year-old man is now recovering in a hospital. His family says he didn't know the man who beat him outside his Calwa home this afternoon. Fox 26 reporter Christina Lopez explains what the family plans to do to ensure the safety of their elderly parents and their gratitude for those who selflessly jumped in to help. Christina. Liz and Monty, 86 year old Rigoberto Rivera is recovering tonight at Community Regional Medical Center after sheriff's deputies report he was hit in the head with a metal object. Rivera's daughter Brenda is sharing the traumatic experience that has left her family shaken, including her 76 year old mother. It's a story you'll only see on Fox 26 News. Rigoberto and Angelina Rivera have lived on the southeast corner of Barton Square and Pullman Street since 1982. Their daughter Brenda describing the neighborhood as family oriented. A lot of parties, a lot of quinceañeras, but never really violence. On Wednesday afternoon, all of that changed. And then this random guy just came to our house and caused chaos. It, it seemed to be an unprovoked attack. Fresno Sheriff's deputies responded to a call just after 1.15 of a man assaulting an elderly man. Him and his friend were out there and a man parked his car in front of him. He took out a bicycle from his trunk and then walked towards our back house and said, I live here, get out of here. And my dad was like, no. That's when 86-year-old Rigoberto and his friend followed the man toward the backyard. He started fighting with them. The next door neighbor seen that my dad and his friend were fighting this man because he pushed the fence, their neighbor's fence over. So the neighbors went out there and said, what's going on? According to deputies, 29-year-old Daniel Jimenez of Clovis hit him over the head with a metal object, then barricaded himself in the home. Uh, we gave him commands. Uh, eventually a canine application happened and we took the subject into custody. But before he was taken into custody, deputies say Jimenez got naked and tried to smother and choke the sheriff's canine. Once the dog freed himself, deputies moved in to restrain Jimenez, who they say was continuing to be combative. It took a taser to finally control him. A deputy was exposed to the suspect's blood and received medical attention. It was literally like a movie out here. It was something I'd never experienced. It was pretty scary, pretty scary. Now, Rivera's daughter tells me they were able to speak with him tonight. The family says he will be held overnight to monitor whether there is any internal bleeding. It also plans to install fencing around the perimeter of the home and, of course, doorbell surveillance. Jimenez is expected to be booked into the Fresno County Jail. He faces charges of assault with a deadly weapon, elder abuse, burglary, and injuring a police dog, which is a misdemeanor. Ms. Monty. And Christina, I just can't help but think again. He's just there in his yard with his friend, minding his own business. Completely vulnerable. That's right. All right, thanks so much. Now we've learned that this is not Jimenez's first brush with law enforcement. No, according to the Fresno County Sheriff's Office, he was arrested last month for indecent exposure at the Target in Clovis on Herndon and Willow Avenues.